so when I uh, got to San Francisco, it was like, it was really scary for me. Going into drop-in and being homeless was a little like, whoa. And then getting through the shelter, like, all, like something new would happen in that shelter every day. Like you would walk into the bathroom and be like, what? And so like the three months in that shelter was crazy. Sitting and like closing your eyes and like letting it just come out was something that was extremely hard for me because I want to get up and go or I want to do something or I want to run out the house or I need to go have a smoke break. So like actually like putting down a cigarette and just sitting still and just thinking was a lot. And doing mindfulness really taught me a lot about uh, what I was going through. I, th this was like great for me. I used to suffer from like really bad anxiety and I would always like see people meditating or people who are into meditation and they would just always be just so chill and I would just like look at them and just think, Man, wh whatever that guy's on, <laughs> I want that. <laughs> yeah, and then after coming to this group, it was just um, probably one of the biggest revelations was being in this group setting and hearing how everyone else have these minds that just constantly keep going and you know, just that revelation that like we always have these thoughts coming into our mind but we don't have to like follow that. Like you know we could just label that thought as like okay that's just a thought of, that's just like a failure thought, that's just um, an insecure thought and then you're just letting it go and not being forced to actually follow that thought wherever it goes. Like on Friday right after that class I probably caught myself like probably 200 times or something, was like, okay, that's just a negative thought. I'm just gonna let go of that right, right now. And Friday just like, was just a, such a good day. And Saturday was pretty good, and today's being pretty good too, so I'm hoping, like, you know, it keeps going like that. I was going through a lot of struggles, and I totally lost, like, my inner peace, and I felt like I just, I lost my way. And I was, like, literally hitting rock, rock bottom. And ever since meditation started, I've never felt more calm and more at peace. Like even if when I know things are going bad, I still have some sort of peace and hope. And I know that, you know, things are gonna get better, you know. It might be bad right now, but I know it's gonna get better. Being able to have self-love, which is something that I've never, never in my whole life been able to do. Give myself, say to myself, you know, may you be calm, may you be peaceful, and really appreciate my, myself. And ever since uh, we started the self-love practice, the love and kindness, it's, it's made me really see the light in myself and my potential. Mm -hmm. and, I, and then I started telling like, people in my class, oh, you know, meditation, meditation, because I feel like this is something that could help a lot more people out there that are going through a lot of struggles. Very, very grateful that you held this class, and I'm very appreciative. And this has been one of the most life-changing experiences for me.